Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying your day so far. Today I am going to make Ghana peanut butter soup. And so for my peanut butter soup, I have my ingredients here. I have um, three and a half pound of meat. I have one and a half pound of crab legs. I have uh, tomatoes here. I have some um, habanero peppers and this green chili peppers that we have here. I have my fish. I have some mackerel in Ghana. We call it like salmon, but over here it's called mackerel. I have some dry fish also. You can find this in African stores. And I have some mor moringa powder, ginger powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, chili powder, some badia seasoning spice. I have my ultimate umami spice blend. I love this. I have um, shrimp bouillon. And here, what I have in here is my homemade protein mix, which I'll be mixing in the peanut butter as well. I have some onions as well. And I have, I don't know if I said this, but I have three quarter cups of peanut butter, which I'm going to be using for my soup. So let's just, let's get started. All right, guys, so I my meat is washed and I have it in my pot right here. And I'm gonna put it on high heat. Oh, high heat, which is on eight, so high heat. I have a half a cup of chopped onion. I'm going to... I'm going to add half a teaspoon of garlic, powdered garlic, half a teaspoon of powdered ginger. I'm going to add one teaspoon of powdered onion. A quarter teaspoon of um, what is it? moringa powder. And I'm going to also add a quarter teaspoon of my ultimate umami spice. I will add a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add just a few pieces of parsley in here. And then I'm going to add one shrimp bouillon. I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Make sure you stir while you're cooking. So just don't cover it and leave it alone. You, you stir like every now and then. So I'm just gonna cover this and cook for 10 minutes. So I'm stirring the meat. Peanut butter um, sauce going here. And I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. I have one tomato in there and I'm going to go ahead and add my peanut butter. Tomatoes, the chili pepper and the peanut butter in here. And I'm doing this method. I saw my grandma, my late grandmother, may so rest in peace. She used this method. My mother used it and it makes the a process of the um, soup, it makes it faster. And it gets like the peanut butter taste. When you eat the soup, it tastes nothing like peanut butter if you go through the, this process. So what I'm doing is I'm going to mix. I'm mixing it together with my hands. Just mix it really well. This is the process it goes through. All right, so I'm adding about 400 ml of water. All right, so our meat has been cooking for about 10 minutes. And I did turn the heat down. The heat is on low right now. It's like on three. And I turned it down. So I'm going to set this aside. And it is time to get this peanut butter process going. So I have my heat on eight. And what I'm going to be doing is I am going to constantly stir this mix to prevent it from burning. So. This is our peanut butter mix. And make sure you pay attention to the heat as well. If you feel like the heat, um, for me, what I do is I start at eight and then I, I work my way down as the sauce gets like thicker. 
So make sure you pay attention to that. So this is my homemade protein mix. And I actually made this from soy beans, garbanzo beans, and um, lentil, lentils. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this in here. And that was one tablespoon of my homemade protein so mix. I am taking the tips, sort of like the claws of the crab off. And I do this even when I get like blue crabs so that you don't get poked when you're eating the crab. And also it, it allows the flavor in the crab to submerge in the soup. And guys, that is out of this world experience. And so I love crab, by the way. I just finished um, cleaning the crab, and what I what I did was um, I just took like the second leg, which would be like this part, like just take it off, so that it would be easy to fit in the pot. And I just go with the scissors and just trim it off. And so basically, that's what I did. See, I have this right here. I have this right here. And this is going to be delicious. All right, so our peanut butter sauce is still cooking. As you can see, it is beginning to like thicken up. And so I brought the heat down to a two. All right, guys, so our peanut butter mix is, is done cooking. And to tell if it's ready, you can tell by the oil from the peanut, see? Yep, that's all the oil from the peanut. And so I'm going to remove this from the fire. And then I'm going to put the meat back. And at this point, I'm going to just take the lid off, put the fire on high. All right, so this is where everything comes together. So I added two cups of water to my peanut sauce. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my strainer and it's going to take like every like all the chaff out of the sauce this is another water this is four cups of water so that's a total of six cups of water here and I'll go ahead and add two more cups of water and bring this mix to a boil. All right guys, so I'm adding two more cups of water. So that is a total of eight cups of water. Can you believe it? All right, so this is going to go into our soup right here. So this is, I have a large size onion. I have three tomatoes. I have four because I we like our soup spicy, okay? So I have three habanero pepper and I have this green pepper it's right here. It was frozen, so I have that I'm going to add. And in Ghana, this is called Pakushito. All my Ghanaian ladies out there or all my Ghanaians out there, you know, right? Pakushito brings the flavor alive. So let's get going. All right, so I'm adding my onion is peeled. I'm adding the tomatoes as well. I'm going to go ahead and add the peppers. And I'm going to bring this to a boil for the tomatoes and the, the for the tomatoes, the peppers and the onions to soften up. And then I can go ahead and blend it up and then transfer the blended ingredient back into the soup. And at that point, I will go ahead and proceed to adding mine crab. All right, guys, as you can see, the soup is boiling. Yay! I'm going to go ahead and blend the peppers, the onions, and the tomatoes, and then I'll pour them back into the soup. So just getting it all. Pepper, tomatoes, and onions is well blended. And I'm going to go ahead and add this in here. 
I'm going to rinse this with one cup of water. So one cup of water. Add it in here. Go ahead and add the crab. I'm also going to go ahead and add the dry fish because it's a bit dry and so I'm going to add it so it can cook with the soup too and in order to enable it to soften up. So I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to add one shrimp bouillon. And I'm just going to let this boil until it's done and that will be in about 43 minutes and 20 and 18 seconds i guess <laughs> all right guys so the soup is almost done i will say i'm going to give it another 15 minutes and at this point i'm going to go ahead and add my macro my baked macro and you know in ghana we like the head so it's going in here as well Yep, and 15 more minutes. Right, guys, so our peanut butter soup is done, and I cooked this soup for an hour and 15 minutes. And you can see it looks really delicious. It looks so good. Yep, so our soup is ready, and we are waiting for our konkonte to be ready, and we are serving our konkonte with the soup. So stay tuned. My konkonte is ready. My konkonte is ready, and I cooked this for 15 minutes and so at this time I'm going to go ahead and scoop it into a bowl put it in here that's how it goes so this is our concuente I'm going to go ahead and add the soup So I'm adding my soup to the concunte, and that's how we normally eat it in Ghana. This is how it goes down back home, all right? So I'm adding the soup. Got the meat, got the fish, and get in the soup. So that is our concunte served with our peanut butter soup. All right, guys, so this is the end product, okay? I just garnished it with um, parsley. So this is our peanut butter soup served with our concunte. I put a video up on how to make the concunte. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give this a try. If you like this, give this video a thumbs up, share it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Until we meet again right here on Stella Zone, have a wonderful weekend and stay blessed. All right, so Hobby is enjoying his concunte with peanut butter soup. How do you like it, babe? So, I'm having my peanut butter soup. It's delicious. You know, I'm very thankful for my Ghanaian wife. They make the best food. I am enjoying. Check out this video, like it, share, try it yourself. Mm.